Carrie, where are we? Tom, we're at 15 William Road, mm -hmm. which is a, it's the edge of a development mm -hmm. that's off of Port Road. So we're Shenango Fork Schools. Shenango Fork Schools. Yes. Yeah, that's really good. Everybody likes the, everybody in Shenango Forks like Shenango Fork Schools, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. So th the thing that I've noticed as I got here and, and kind of went through the house is the setting is unbelievable for right. me. I love this because it's kind of at the end of the street and you've got all this gorgeous back here right. that opens up into the world. Right. You've got uh, almost an acre. Yeah. And privacy galore. Correct. And you're on top of the hill. Right. And so th as, w as I came into the house, I noticed a lot of a period type structure. Right. So what do I mean by that? I mean like these hardwood floors are unbelievably beautiful because they're vintage. They're kind of a vintage, like a prime oak with a lot of grain in them. The right. walls in this room are, are wooden, and that's kind of neat, I think. Right. The whole yeah. house has this tongue and groove. A uh, whole house, throughout. Yeah, yeah. Upstairs, downstairs. You walk in, like you were saying earlier, it's very Norman Rockwell. You yeah, walk in. Yeah, I kind of feel that way. You have a mudroom slash laundry as soon as you come in from the driveway, mm -hmm. but yet you have this other cool side door and a way to close off the laundry so that if you have guests, they come in that side door and they've got this mud area to take off their shoes and everything. So you've like got two mud rooms in right, a way. Right. One can be closed off. Like it's it's almost like a, a quarters where you do, you do your laundry. You just... It's over there. Some people don't like the laundry on the first floor because then you, you're always seeing the laundry. Right. This has a door where you just shut it right off. You totally don't even separate. have to come in that way right. if you don't want to. And then off of this living room, I noticed you've got a gorgeous covered porch that just kind of looks over the nature. It is it's gorgeous. really nice. They poured a patio for a hot tub, which they never ended up putting in, mm -hmm. but they just love that setting so much with the woods and everything around it. It's just very private. It is very private. All right, so... Um, We've, we're in the living room, and, and there, down, there's a kitchen that opens into like a large country dining room with a right. fireplace. Right. Okay. And that's between here and that entrance where you just spoke about. That's One correct. of the unique things in this house to me, because of its vintage, is that there's a first floor bath in here. Right. And all the doors, all the doors in the house are solid wood doors. Right. Many of them are just stained, you know, with a, a wood stain, but um, if you want to brighten it up, you can always change that. Exactly. As a true colonial, mm -hmm. we have four bedrooms upstairs. Mm -hmm. All nice sized bedrooms. You've got hardwood floors, again. Same upstairs, beautiful Upstairs, downstairs. Floors. Right. Yeah. Main bath. And you've got With the a new shower surround. Yep. And uh, the master bedroom is really large, very nice size, double closet. And you've got three other bedrooms up here as well. So, uh, really, it's. I have a lot of requests for four bedrooms on the second level, mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I'm very fortunate to have another listing that has mm -hmm. four bedrooms on the second level. You know what else I've noticed up here, too? Carrie, you mentioned it earlier, but I love the way these walls are, have that wood, real wood right. paneling on them on some walls. On some walls, some walls. Plastic. it's the accent. Yeah. Right. And, and all the doors, you know, they have these wonderful farmhouse latches that I think are cool, and, the, and they're all six-panel real right. wood. Right, right. Yeah. And it was built in the 60s. But it, acts it like has it's that it has that turn of the century right. look to it. Yeah, the colonial yeah. turn of the century type of look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's uh, let's go see the basement and we'll go from there. Sounds great. So this whole lower level is um, got living space and a full right. bath. Full bath. And, right. And did you say it's walkout also? It is a walkout basement. Oh wow, that's really right. a nice feature, right. isn't it? Yes. And so there's still storage too. A lot of storage. Okay. There's extra. Storage. There's a separate room where you know the bomb shelter oh. era, where you have a real thick wall. Yeah, yeah. This house isn't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have one acre. We're at a, a, a kind of we're at the end of a cul-de-sac. Right. We've got a gorgeous nothing behind you view. Right. And, and in my opinion, you've got kind of a mid-century 40s, 50s, you know, classic farmhouse look that was built in the 60s. Yes. And it's got a great feel in it. It does. It has a, a really wonderful feel in it. And if they want to see it, they give you a call? They can give me a call, 607-343-1035. It's really a nice property. I mean, if you think that you want to have this kind of school, you're literally two minutes off of Front Street, right. Upper Front Street, right? Right. Shenango Fork Schools, you got a gorgeous property here. I really like the piece. You're surrounded by a lot of nice, nice homes. And it feels nice. In this nice. cul-de-sac. Oh, yes. Yeah, it feels nice. The whole area is nice. All right, give Carrie a call. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you, Tom.